Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to go ahead and finish decorating for fall in my main living area. I am going to show you at the end of the video how I decorated my kitchen and my dining room hutch. I did do that off camera just because it takes way too long to do that. Plus, my husband is working from home and he has been working in our dining room, as I've mentioned to you guys in the past. And well, you guys, he has taken over that spot. And so we are just going to go ahead and skip through that. So if you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Show me some love. Give me that thumbs up and let's go ahead and get right into it. Thanks, guys. Go where it wants to go You can run and hide You can bury yourself beneath the stones Somebody told me don't pretend Cause everyone could use a friend Sometimes take some good When it comes to decorating, I like to play around and you guys, things change. I don't always keep it the way that it starts off. So you will see a few changes from what you see now. And it's okay to change your mind. I like to play and play until I am happy and content with the way something looks. So keep in mind that this looks like this now, but it's not going to be the end result. And, you know, it's important for you to always play around with your decor until you're completely satisfied with the way everything is looking. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. I'm excited to have you join. And also that long ethernet cable going through my living room is temporary. Um, my husband has been working from home since the pandemic started in March and he has been working out of our dining room. We are actually going to be converting a bedroom into his office since it's looking like a long-term commitment. Um, but that is to come. But in the meantime, um, that's what we've been doing as we thought it was going to be very temporary and it's looking like it's going to be more long term. Um, but anyway, you roll with the punches in life and that's what we've done. And so we will continue to decorate. And the other thing I wanted to point out is I like to clean and decorate in sections because if I try to do it all at once, I get overwhelmed and this way I know what I'm doing step by step.
back to what used to be home Passing by those little towns I know so well Stopping for gas and then I'm behind the wheel again Driving this like a spiritual cleanse Where every mile is a new beginning And every friend holds a new end Eyes on the road, don't lose control I'm speeding fast to chase my soul I'm driving All right, guys, sorry, I ended up cleaning the um, coffee table off camera since my husband got in the shot and he hates being on camera. So apologies there. And then um, I'm just showing you how I went ahead and decorated the center um, or coffee table. Very simple. Now here I'm going to go ahead and change the greenery because as you guys know, I am obsessed with lamb's ear and I just felt like lamb's ear needed to be there instead of the eucalyptus that I had originally. It just is more me and it felt like I needed it. And in addition to that, you guys, I felt like the frame is too small and even though I love it, I had to find a different home for it and you'll see it actually ended up working where I put it and the actual flower arrangement, even though it's absolutely gorgeous and full of color and life, was also a bit much just because it everything was pretty neutral with the exception of the welcome fall pillow with the red truck. Um, it just did not feel good and this is why I tell you guys to play 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 step back take a look at everything and make sure that everything feels right to you um, and then change whatever doesn't because you're not going to be happy until you make things the way that you know make you happy
Okay guys, I'm pretty happy with the way everything is looking and now I'm gonna go ahead and give you a close up of everything so you guys can see how beautiful and calming and warm and cozy everything feels and looks. And don't forget to let me know what you think. And of course, we're gonna take a look at the kitchen and hutch afterwards. What you putting in All your hopes and efforts Are all in vain Who will pick you up When you've lost everything Does it all become for granted With a wedding So on the island, I went ahead and hung some leaves, but that's really the only thing that changed. I used to have a beautiful little um, small wreath there. And then on top, we ended up putting um, some gorgeous fall flowers, a little hay bale, some tiny little pumpkins, a little pumpkin candle, um, but yeah, this is just so, so cute. I've been burning this candle and it's just really, really nice. So kept it pretty simple in the kitchen. Um, the kitchen you guys have seen, I've got my dog's bowl up there. Um, but we've got another Ray Dunn candle here. Like I said, you guys, it's very simple. This isn't even a fall kitchen towel it's just this is my happy place which is a Ray Dunn all of my Ray Dunn goodies because clearly I'm obsessed on the windowsill you guys it's fall is my favorite which is one of my favorite um, gadgets that I got from Target a few years back um, and then a few of my gingham stuff or buffalo check and more Ray Dunn goodies that I absolutely love. I'm going to go ahead and leave a DIY that I did on those homemade pumpkins with the scrubbers that I thought are so perfect. And then I made this wreath a few years back. Um, so of course I wanted to go ahead and display it because I'm still quite proud of the way it turned out. Um, when I store it, it kind of got a little bent, but it still looks beautiful. Now we're gonna head over to the hutch. I changed it just a little bit, so that's my husband's work chair, sorry about that. But look at how absolutely stunning this turned out. I am obsessed. Um, I love, love, love it. We're gonna go ahead and look at it from this angle and I'm just so happy with it. We're gonna open this up and look at the inside and give you a very detailed, and this is where the sign went, which is perfect. I ended up putting faux wood behind there and I'll show you guys what it ended up looking like, but let me give you a uh, inside look on this as well. Um, so this is the top shelf, which is probably my favorite section. We've got my cream and sugar, my little acorn that my sister Christina got me, um, my little teapot, my little chicken that I love so much, um, 
I love this. It's so, so cute. And have you guys seen in my home, my Gather Gather and Pumpkin Spice? Christina gave me that as well, the Pumpkin Spice Everything. She knows me so well. Um, but you guys, sh basically, um, you guys can see that I do touches of color and also neutrals throughout my house. I don't only do neutrals. I do pops of color throughout my home. Um, and I love it that way. There are some people who only decorate with neutrals and there are people who decorate with only color. I combine mine and I love it. And I'm so happy with the way everything turned out. I really truly hope you have enjoyed today's video. Um, please let me know which is your favorite. And again, I welcome you if you're new and I hope that you hit that like button. It helps out my channel so much. And I thank you again for tuning in and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Choirs, work every day.